Hello and welcome everybody to a discussion about ceramics. Ceramics are some of my favorite chips. They're durable, they're pretty kid-proof, and they are, for what they are, they can be pretty inexpensive. Like if you, for example, if you want a custom set or you want um, some sort of special, like, you know, these are my custom business card, golf ball marker, poker chip thing. That's what these are. Uh, I ordered these through BR Pro Poker. Now, not a sponsor, just genuinely a company that I, I paid for these with my own money, a company that I use. All right, so in my last video, one of my last videos, I, I screw up, I screw up all the time. I, for some reason, I thought the two card were only made by Sunfly, as it turns out, Tina also makes them. And I think these are the Tina mold because Sunfly, thing, I have some Sunfly, for real Sunfly chips here. And you compare them side by side and the Sunfly chips are different. They're glossy. Can you see the glare off the Sunfly chips? Not the Apache Poker chips, Taj Mahal or Empire chips. Uh, so, you know, there is a difference there. And other things, like I don't know how consistent it is, but the color in the two card mold seems more consistent on the Sunfly chips than on the Tina mold. But again, you know, you, not always universally true. So I don't know if that's a thing or not, but you know, there seems to be kind of a difference. Uh, if we measure them, let's move some of these aside. Here are some Tiki Kings, I love these. These are uh, pretty glossy on the side as well. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, I was gonna measure here, let's move some of this stuff aside. The, wait, do we want inches? No, let's try millimeters okay so generally we're looking at like what 39 40 millimeters for general chips the sunfly are 39.3 the taj mahal available at apache poker chips you know what i should have just emailed josh from apache he would be able to tell me but i haven't and i didn't but it's too late at night it's late at night folks we're not going to email right now so they're both 39 millimeters okay uh that said i'm curious with my br pro Let's make sure that's zeroed. I don't think one hundredth of a millimeter is really going to matter that much. Yeah, these are also 39 millimeters. Uh, is there a weight difference? I can't imagine there being much of a weight difference. Of course, every time I say something like that, there is. Make sure nothing's touching there. All right, is it zeroed? Grams? All right. BR Pro Tiki King, 9.2. Taj Mahal from Apache. 9.6, 9.5, that's right in the sweet spot, right around 10 grams, I really like. Sunfly, Ravenor Classic. The Ravenor, around nine grams. Oh, so half a, half a gram difference, wow. So anyway, just to clarify what's going on, I'll, I actually am probably gonna do another review of the Empire and the Taj Mahal. They seem like good chips. Like there are lots of uh, there's lots of discussion on Poker Chip Forum, who's a longtime supporter and Patreon Patreon member patron of the channel, uh, uh, with these. So there's lots of uh, group buys going on with Tina molds. So if you want to get in on one of those, be sure to go to PokerChipForum.com. Uh, be sure that the group buy person you're Joining has experience with group buys because there's some chatter about some people who are new to the idea who struggle with the logistics. So that said, uh, here's a quick thought for everybody. One reason why I like ceramics, we're gonna play a hand. The table's a little bit wobbly. I apologize for that. My studio, studio had a leak and so we had some technical issues and we're working to rebuild the studio. The a wall's been torn down. There was a, a leak from the outside. Rain was coming in. When it rains, it pours. So one reason why I like ceramics more than, here's some more BR Pro chips, uh, are because they're kid friendly and they've proven to be very durable for me and my use. And I like the colors. I like how easily accessible they are, and I like it that they're not like $12 a chip, because some chips, uh, Paulson chips in particular, have just, it seems like they've just gone crazy in price. Here are some Paulson classics, no longer available to the public. 
these chips are, you know, can be pretty expensive. I've seen upwards of $6. I've seen some go for like $10 plus a chip. It's just like, that's a lot, too much. And so the other problem that I have with these is lead content. They released, so there was lead in their older chips, a lot of lead. And then the Paulson released this statement after this was brought out to the public's knowledge, where they said, we're working hard to reduce the amount of lead in our chips. They said reduce, and it wasn't like, people make it sound like there's zero lead content in these. I don't know. If Paulson wants to come out and say there is zero lead content in our casino chips, then they can do that. But they haven't, and so I'm not convinced there's zero lead content in here. And the idea of, oh, just wash your hands, okay, but I have kids, you know, and how do you vacuum your felt, your tabletop? Do you, what do you do? I mean, you're not worried about lead. I, it's something that's on my mind. I'm not going to uh, just give them a pass just because they're Paulson, okay? So that's the other reasons why I don't like Paulson chips. Ultimately, you know, if I was gonna get like a premium set, I'd probably go with classic poker chips. They have brass in their chips. They're pretty open about that. But for the most part, uh, I'm very happy with uh, ceramics. So let's play a hand here. We're going to very quickly shuffle. And you can pause the video or not. Just grab a deck at home, shuffle up, deal yourself two cards and play along. It's always fun to play, I, what do I call it, fantasy poker? Because it's not real poker. There's, no, there's nothing at stake. There's no money involved here. It's just on YouTube. All right, so we're gonna deal in my nemesis, Jane Doe. All right, let me have a look at my cards. I wanna know what I'm going in to this competition with. All right, we're in a card. One, two, three. We're going to flop that. That's our flop. I know in Vegas people cheer when they see the flop. I'm kidding, nobody cheers when they see the flop, ever. All right, that. I'm sure that I have high card, right? Because I have the jack, you know, not the, I don't have anything, you know, per se, but I'm sure she doesn't have a queen. How can she get so lucky? I don't understand. If I don't, I really uh, want to take Jane to Vegas. Can you deal in my imaginary friend Jane? Because she's always going to win. She's a luck box. Meh. Sorry. Oh, you want to play two hands, sir? Are you, are you allowed to play two hands in Vegas? Uh, I don't think you would be able to. All right. Let me know your thoughts about ceramics. Uh, what's the difference between Tina and Sunfly chips? Let us know in the comments below. Do you prefer Paulson chips over ceramic chips? Do you prefer BR Pro Poker chips over Sunfly or Tina? And what are your thoughts about the two card mold? All of that, not for discussion. Be sure to visit pokerchipforum.com to continue the discussion. That's where I go for all sorts of things. I participated in group buys uh, and just general discussion. It's great. My vintage golf, I started a little thread about my vintage golf stuff on there as well. So looking forward to reading your comments. As usual, thank you to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. It's just general support, and I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Another way you can support this channel is by visiting my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy this content. I'll see you in the next one.